Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm helping somebody on a memorial plaque for a young boy. And they want to put the name, or they want to put it in there for the customer, inside the tree where it's still readable. So let's take this tree and let's left click no fill, right click outline. Let's take our text and just kind of place it in the tree. And this probably isn't important, but I'm gonna left click, right click the word. So we want to take that word now and go to effects contour. We're gonna contour the outside 0 0.01 with rounded corners and hit apply. Now the best thing to do is go ahead and take the contour apart so it won't kind of interfere because we're going to take it away later. But right now we need to take the smart fill tool and fill the tree back in. And this tree is a little bit different so you might have to click on the tree itself. And this might not work if we add fill because it added back into the tree. But what we can do is go ahead and smart fill this. The bottom part of the tree, and that looks pretty cool with the roots coming up. Now, to fill in the rest of it, um, I've got the plaque locked. I'm trying, let me zoom in here. I'm trying to grab just the tree itself. And you can see it's part of a, a curve or part of an object. So let's go up here and then break. Well, we've already converted it. It ought to give me a break curve apart. Now I want just the top part of the tree. There we go. Now I can fill that in with black. We've already got it. Now, you probably don't have to do this, but take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines that you do not need. Um, they should not give you, give you a problem, but they could. Now we can take our contour away just by hitting delete and just take his name and left click black. That looks pretty cool with the roots. Now they might want to change it up, but I'm just, I'm showing them how to do it. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.